Hey, it's Dr. Steve coming to you from the backyard on this beautiful day. Uh, one of the reasons I wanted to talk to you today is uh, because of today. It's a beautiful day. It's a great day to get outside. It's a great day to get some sun, um, just to blow the stink off and feel good. Um, the last couple weeks, I've definitely seen some increase in emotional stress in the people we've been talking to. Uh, when I talk to other people uh, the, in practice, they're seeing the same kind of things. So uh, it's only normal that with such a significant and dramatic change in our lifestyle that you're going to feel some stress, especially when it's been as prolonged as it's been. Um, whether it's just stress worried about work or uh, families, you know, spending so much time together, sometimes there's a little uh, tension there. Uh, you know, we want to definitely just recognize it and recognize that it's a normal response to what's going on in our crazy world. Um, trying to, you know, hold out that hope for uh, the, the light at the end of the tunnel coming soon. Um, but we definitely want to touch base and acknowledge and, and don't bury these feelings. These feelings are very uh, normal and healthy in a way, you know, that, that your life has changed, our life has changed. Um, the world has changed. Hopefully it'll uh, be back to normal pretty quickly. Uh, but you know, we, if you are feeling stressed, if you're feeling a little desperate, a little anxious, um, you know, there's a ton of people out there to uh, reach out to. The state is actually uh, providing a number, we'll add this to the bottom of the screen, um, where you can reach out for some mental health um, services. So some social workers and things like that, just somebody to talk to, uh, you know, hopefully family, friends, um, you know, reach out to them. We're all going through this together. Nobody's going to judge you. I don't think anybody is immune to this kind of stress uh, when something changes like this. So I don't think we have to be uh, the rock or the island. I think that, you know, um, we need to lean on the people that are close to us. Uh, certainly, um, I want you to know that we're here for you. Uh, I know that some of the people we've had in the practice, we've taken some time, I've taken some time to talk to them um, and just kind of give them some ideas on how to deal with the stress and, and hopefully buoy their spirits a little bit. Um, getting outside on a beautiful day like today is a great start. So hopefully you had an opportunity to do that. Um, I don't even know what the weather's supposed to be like tomorrow, but hopefully it'll be like this again. Um, Obviously, we still want to practice some social distancing things. Um, that's always a good plan, but it doesn't mean you can't get outside. Um, exercise is a great way to relieve stress. Uh, you know, uh, getting out there and, and really working up a good sweat, whether it's something higher impact or even just a nice long walk. Uh, it doesn't have to be at a high pace, but just to get that heart rate up and, and get some sweat going, it definitely lowers your stress level. Um, watch something funny, you know, I mean, turn the news off, uh, watch something that just going to make you laugh and, and just enjoy that laughter. Get that, get those lungs opened up, uh, get those good endorphins flowing. Uh, you know, we just really want to focus on some positive mental health, uh, because it's certainly we're seeing a lot of that just because not only the, the emotional part of the stress, but the physical stress too, that so many of us, um, that are working from home, you know, they have uh, home setups, but they're not necessarily the best setups. Maybe they were a little makeshift because of uh, the speed that this all hit us. Uh, so they're either sitting in improper chairs or they're working off of a laptop. And um, so we see those kind of stressors. If you have those physical stressors, if you're working at home, make sure you're trying to modify those, you know, uh, get a keyboard and a, and a mouse rather than use your, your laptop keyboard. Try to get an office chair. An office chair, they're designed to be um, sat in for a long period of time. You know, kitchen chairs, dining room chairs, not so much. They don't have the lumbar support. They don't have uh, an adjustability factor. Um, so, you know, if there's anything else we can help you with, um, please don't hesitate to reach out. We've got phone numbers. We've got contact people um, that, that can help you. Uh, I'd certainly be willing to help you in any way that I can with some tips and suggestions. Uh, we just want you to stay healthy, uh, stay happy, and keep moving forward because we will make this together.